are you doing? Fucking roads. Breath mech. Oh. I'm also not sure on. I did I did two other two videos when I was in the I was gonna say Alps. What the fuck when was I ever in the Alps? Two videos when I was in the uh, Lake District, the routes that I was driving, and I put music to one, raw on t'other. I'm not sure which way to go in the the future, whether I should continue with adding a little bit of a soundtrack. Fucking dicks. All of you dicks! Whether I should continue with the soundtrack or, you know, just have a little, just the sound of the V4 and probably some wind noise to go with it. See, I bought an external microphone and the plan was to essentially just like tape it in fluff and just have it record pure engine sound. But it just gets absolutely overwhelmed every time into a crackling mess. So I don't know whether it's just maybe because it's a, ch a cheap one. It's like 30 quid. So I wouldn't imagine it's a cheap, cheap one. I don't really want to have to spend you know, extra cash to find out. I know you can get the Bluetooth mics for this. I think I can go down here because I know the Book Spiker has got the sound set up really well. But I think also he uses the fancy, fancy mics. And if I'm not going to spend more than 30 quid on a microphone, I'm not going to spend 300 on the, the mic 2 or whatever for the DJI. DJI camera. I don't know. I might do in the end. Not anytime soon. They're broken. I think they're broken. Oh. Little girl blue. What the fuck is going on? These are the shittest. I probably should. So the other route I had was three minutes slower. I can't help but think that I'm going to send sat here. Sit here? Sit here. Shit here. And be here for three bloody minutes. Oh yeah. On the uh, the new bike front. Well, the extra extra bike. The next bike front. Kind of been drawn towards the, uh, the street, the Harley Street 750. It's basically a naked bike with mid controls. That's also uh, you've got that nice little V twin. So it's like a little a little bike to bop around on. So. I need to essentially. I need to have a little, a little sit on one or a little, little drive of one. Apparently, because of the peg placement is higher than the exhaust, you have this what's the seat position, what's been like until like, sitting on a toilet, where your your feet are a little bit too high, which is a possible issue for people of the lankier persuasion, and also with my uh, my gammy leg. I don't know whether that could become a potential barrier. There's also the uh, I'm asserted. I'm a bicycle. There's the problem of not problem. What am I talking about? There's the other bike, the Iron 883, the Sportster, which also like, which is I think they're in the same ballpark really for in terms of power. I don't really want anything too big, cruisery wise. I'm not really going to be doing a lot. Any like long distance mileage is going to be all VFR, all VFR all the time. So I don't really need to. A long distance bike for that but a cruiser or if I need to the, I, I want to go out around the local area or just chill out where's that coming from it's from the right people are up quite early today shirt and tie coming home from work or just one of those those people that hit a certain age and then just always wear a shirt and tie yeah, my dad was one of them people he was also an absolute prick and uh, a chain smoking alcoholic, but he always wore trousers, shirt, and a tie and shoes. He was a fucking cab driver. Why even such a generation thing? Don't know. I can't. I, I can't see me hitting a certain age where I go, "Yep, time to wear a button-up shirt and a tie now." Oh, yo, I, I have got to a point. Oh, I've got to a point in life where I, I don't really wear trainers anymore unless I'm doing anything requiring me to run well considering that's not going to happen i haven't worn trainers for quite some time so i tend to wear boots i've got some sparta pilgrims for on the bike and off the bike if i need to bike somewhere and, and walk around a bit i've got my current boots which are my risha rika Richa, richer i still don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that's that guy on a lead very strange 
taking a guy out for a walk, which are just just super comfortable, and I'm not really planning on a lot of walking around, so that's why. But you don't really wear. And I've started. Oh, do you know what? I think it's a gradual thing. I don't think it. I just realised I have juiced my hoodie wearing percentage. Oh no! Is it the beginning or the end? I don't own any trousers. I do own leg leg wet jeans. Trousers? That's not us. Shut up. So <laughs> I don't anywhere like any formal trousers. I might have some like a pair of like dusty shoes at the back of the wardrobe that you bust out whenever there's some sort of like, wedding or occasion that are just. They're, they're always uncomfortable because they've never been worn enough to be broken in. No, I think none of my shirts fit. I bought my shirts years ago before I started getting back heavy into the gym. And now I'm just fucking massive! Oh, I don't know why that amused me so much. Oh, what was the thing about the whole song thing? That's all right. That's what I was saying. Get, getting back to that. I don't know whether to upload the raw... Or is it, what is it they call it? The pure sound. Uh, the just engine sound only. And then have the same ride but with a bit of Beyonce going on in the background because I've, I've re-watched the videos and I did notice that on one of them there's an obvious moment where I call a guy a wanker <laughs> should have edited that out really but <laughs> I think he was trying to he was overtaken on a, coming up to like a crest and a, a hill so I come over the thingy and he's on as I come over he's on the wrong side of the road or just pull him back in or some absolute dick move so I'm distracted again, what was I talking about? Yeah, so I don't know whether to put music on it or not. Because to be fair, trying to choose good good music is really hard. My music taste is awful. I don't think anyone's gonna appreciate me putting uh, the ant words or <laughs> some South African rap rave <laughs> over the back of it. And I can't find anything that fits. Oh, I tell you what, I did watch. Uh, oh, what's his name? Sweet. Like, yeah, the guy who recently subscribed, he rides a Vulcan S. That guy going quite fast considering I'm doing 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour he's doing. 30 miles an hour! That's illegals. Fucking, that may, may as well be an actual motorbike. Jesus. Oh, right. So he had some really amazing music. So like, obviously the people out there with really good like tastes and it's much easier for me to just upload it raw and then try and go through and edit out the times I go which is which is like quite surprisingly a lot decisions decisions so I was gonna do side by side raw sound and or pure sound or whatever basically music and non music for the exact same video but I don't know whether that just like mess up the uh, algorithm or something but uploading the same video twice I don't know just because I don't think there's a huge difference between them could, but that could also be uh, a labelling thing, a tag thing, a thumbnail thing. There's no real rhyme or reason. If if one person, if you get one subscriber, then it just means that the more people that watch, you will eventually get more. It's it's almost like an impossibility as long as you're doing things that people like to see. If enough people see them you will gain subscribers but it's it's like like that visibility thing how do you get people to watch videos and from what i can what i can tell i think you, you need essentially that one that one blow up video the one video that people like watch and share and think it around and move up or you know, algorithm hierarchy it's weird it is weird how tiktok works is beyond me absolute beyond me the first time i tried it i got banned because I'm a sweary boy. So I've been putting all my non-sweary videos, just like the, the funny shorts I do. <laughs> I say funny, in subjective humor and all that. But it's like, they don't go anywhere. <laughs> Absolutely nowhere, nobody watches it. I think there's like five people on TikTok and that's supposed to be the one where you can get like loads of followers and people watching loads of your videos, but I'll be fucked if I know how to do it. I don't do it, I, I might do Instagram and stuff like that. I've never really give a shit about the whole social network thing, but my my views, especially the way YouTube is watching that subscriber count, and and I start thinking a little gamer thing where it's a stat point every time you level up, and I'm, I just want to see the number go higher. I just have a morbid curiosity to to see how and why. So I'm still 
absolutely uninterested in any kind of like tube notoriety or anything like that but <laughs> I keep watching it and go whoo I've gone up although there, there, there are some times where I go down quite a bit not sure why though although I, I did I did do a big YouTube subscriber there clear out myself it's mainly because there was a load of like, YouTube like artists drawing and stuff like that that I used to watch that I don't really watch them more uh, anymore and a load of uh, a load of people that just simply haven't made any videos for quite some time cut that corner bitch so that, that could be a thing where people they give me a pity subscribe don't realize that I'm actually a knob end and then unsubscribe that's a distinct possibility why is this guy getting so fucking close although the uh, filtering in the Lake District ended up doing exactly what I thought it would and pissed a load of people off and then I gotta hope for better. <laughs> there's still people having a conversation on my uh, the, the BMW trying to filter video. That I, there's still people like, discussing that one, and I'm like, like saying, "Are you guys still here?" Well, this is nice, isn't it? It's all brown. Where's this Inglewake Road? Vape niche. Tiny little houses, but I bet it costs an absolute bomb. Bowlin Meadow. Let's do a battery switch now, actually. And this is the advantage of the TGI, actually. The ability to just go bloop, bloop, 